Curves, curves, curves. Your curves didn't have chroma? Don't worry about it. Welcome to SETI Astro. Well, after making my chroma versus saturation video, I uh, kind of came to realize that not a lot of the curves programs out there actually can manipulate chroma easy or um, the A star or B star components and you know not everybody has access to to PixInsight and even Photoshop doesn't have a, a chroma on their curves so uh, go, head over to SetiAstro.com under Astro Programs for my SETI Astro Suite version 1.8 is out now so be sure to grab that and let's go ahead and, and pull up now you'll see a curves utility tab it'll be right next to statistical stretch and this is a fully functioning curves tool um i have a lot of options i put in here so you could do the standard brightness which i think everybody's familiar with using curves you can manipulate the rg or b channels separately you could uh, manipulate the luminance itself so this is a, a subtly different than just stretching the brightness of all three of those. Uh, you can manipulate the A star and B star components. That's the red, green, or blue, yellow components. Uh, you could adjust chroma directly or saturation directly. So let's, uh, let's hop in. I'll show you how to, how to work everything here. I'm going to go ahead and just load up an image. For loading images, you should be able to load you know, PNG, TIFF, FITS, XISF. And it'll uh, show you a preview over here. Uh, there are zoom in and out buttons. And then if you notice when you're mousing over the image, uh, there's a readout down here that has the R, G, and B values. So you could see when your mouse is at a certain spot, you could actually read out what those values are. The grid itself uh, ranges from zero to one and uh, there are increments of, you can see right here, 0 0.125, 0 0.25, halves right in the middle. Double clicking will place a point on the curve area for you. And you can you know, double click again and make more curves. If you wanna get rid of a point, just right click it and it'll get rid of the point. You can apply the curve to the original image. So in this case, here, I'll just demonstrate. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lighten it. We're just gonna use brightness for now. We're gonna click apply curve. Maybe you maybe you thought that was too bright, right? So then you, you you bring the curve back down a little bit and click apply curve again. Now that's just going to keep applying it to that same original image. So you could iterate through what you uh, are trying to do there. If you want to successively add or stack curves up then you can switch over to current. Now it's gonna take the image in the preview and use that to apply new curves for it. So like I just have it on this slightly bright in here, I'm gonna apply the curve, gets a little brighter, I can apply a curve again, gets a little brighter, I can apply the curve again, gets brighter still. So that way you can adjust curve after curve after curve after curve if you so choose, or you could just have it strictly on the original if you ever get so far in your iterations or whatever and you just want to want to clean reset there is a little uh, reset button here it'll reset the curve and reset to the original image for you as well so i think uh i think that's going to be a, a great thing for everybody here that doesn't necessarily have a really high power curves uh, i again gimp photoshop affinity they, they all have great curves tools they just don't have as many options I, I don't think as as i'm presenting here so like we talked about before you could switch to chroma i'll put a little point in there and chroma is really powerful if you're using this you don't need to bring it up much i'll just apply the curve and now we got much richer colors and again that's that's applying with the chroma we can also you know do the same game with saturation we can bring the saturation up we can apply the curve and there's the saturation boosted image. You could actually tell it, it did darken it up a little bit. Uh, along with K, you could just affect like the R channel if you just wanna bring the reds up, let's say. 
or you have you know a green cast in your image you can just select green and you know pull the greens down L star is the luminance so this is only affecting the the luminance channel none of the color data so if you want to put like a little S curve in the luminance data you could do that directly in this curve so now that didn't affect the colors at all that just affects the the luminance like I said, you could directly manipulate A star and B star. This is going to be the amount of uh, A star is the amount of greens to reds. And again, this is very strong. So small changes there will get it very red. Or if you pull down the curve, uh, it'll get pretty green pretty quick. And we already covered uh, chroma and saturation. So this is a fully functioning curve editor like you can manipulate the white points and black points as well and they're locked on these axes so you can't uh, move the black point off but any guesses is if you switch the white point and the black point like this black point all the way up and white point all the way down you can uh, pause the video if you want to take a guess yourself but let's just go ahead and, and apply the curve it inverts it so uh, if you've ever wondered how inverting actually works this is this is how it does it. It um, it swaps all the values like that. So that's a uh, that's something you could do with the the curve utility as well is invert your image. I want to open up another image for all the solar imagers out there. So here I got an image of the sun, and one of the things we like to do is do these combined inverted images. We like the the disk itself to be inverted, but we want to keep the prominences. The, the same kind of brightness that they already look. You don't want to invert the whole thing. So because it is a fully functioning curve editor, we could place a midpoint. We could drop the white point all the way down. I know it's looking weird, guys. Um, and we could add in like another curve here. Give it like one of these looks and we'll just, we'll just give it an apply. And now we can see exactly what it's doing. This is giving us that kind of uh, look that a lot of people like to do with their solar images where you have the inverted disk and the prominences are correctly the right way so to speak with uh, with the brightness levels so now you got a, a, a really great inverted disk and the prominences are the the, the correct brightness direction by putting in one of these uh, upside down U curves here so you could do a lot of things with the curves utility here and as always when you're done be sure to click save your image you could save it in many different types again tiff png fits xisf um, to continue on with your processing well i hope you guys get a lot of great use out of a, a curves tool i tried to put in uh, you know just a lot of things that maybe some of the other curve editors out there don't have and like I said, even with things like solar or planetary work or lunar work, uh, it, it's, it's a great one-stop shop to do these kind of inverted curves. You got all your readouts of your values and uh, it, it should, should work pretty well for everybody. Please comment, like, and subscribe.